six, who's the mayor? Tonight, even more squabbling in Miami Lakes in a story of he said versus he said, and just about everyone else weighing in on who should be the mayor of that town. CBS 4's Travel Island joins us live from outside Town Hall with the newest chapter on this ongoing soap opera, Travel. Yeah, Elliot, well, this saga of dueling mayors here in the city of Miami Lakes will continue into yet another round of legal challenges. About 75 people showed up here tonight for this special meeting to decide if taxpayers should foot the bill for the current mayor, Wayne Slayton's legal fees, to fight off Mike Pizzi's challenge to retake his title as mayor of Miami Lakes. Well, just a few minutes ago, the county unanimously decided that they would pay for Wayne Slayton's legal fees to stay in office. Now, several people signed up to talk, but the majority of them were against using any taxpayer dollars for this legal battle. This all started when Mike Pizzi was acquitted on bribery charges. Pizzi says after he was acquitted, he should have been immediately reinstated as mayor of Miami Lakes. Pizzi was suspended by Governor Rick Scott when those charges were brought against him, and then the town held a special election to fill that position, and Slayton won. The issue of Pizzi getting his job back, or if Slayton should stay in office, has divided this community. It would be a great disservice to the people of Miami Lakes to spend a single penny of taxpayer dollars on defending a lawsuit which is totally indefensible and frivolous. Because the state constitution clearly states that upon acquittal, his suspension has been lifted. But we have to do what is legally right in this town. I mean, we have a charter, and we had an election, and we elected a permanent mayor to, re to replace Mayor Pizzi until 2016. So you want to defend that mayor? I want to defend that mayor, and I want to defend the town charter. Well, several people who I spoke with tonight believe that the town should have never held a special election to replace Pizzi, but rather had a current council member, such as the vice mayor, step in until Pizzi's legal battle was over. But again, just a short time ago, an unanimous decision by the council members to go ahead and pay for the current mayor legal fees to stay in office. For now, we're live in Miami Lakes, Travel Island, CBS 4 News. Travel, thank you. New